Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Glory Talk. Today is March 21st, 2024. Welcome. All right. So it's getting it's getting to be really nice outside. So uh, the sun's coming out. It's it's really looking nice. I really enjoy that. I love getting outside. Uh, you guys should do it too. Soak up some sun. Yeah. Anyway, um, here I am talking to you guys. I want to tell you what God's got in store for you today. Um, he has given me something to talk to you guys about, and this is like a this is like a wake up call, like a warning. And for everybody who hasn't repented, and also for uh, salvation for everyone in Jesus Christ. Amen. I was just letting you know. So let's go ahead and pray and let's get it started. All right? Okay. Lord God Almighty, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for bringing new people in. Thank you for showing up and being who you are and loving everyone, and giving everybody a second chance, giving everybody chances with your grace. Thank you, Lord. Lord God Almighty, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I ask that you get the, that I get the word out, that people are going to be open to what you want to say, and to put it into their minds and hearts and souls, and, and just get it in there and, and want to change their lives for you, Lord. Want to live a holy life with you. And they repent. And Lord, I ask that they heed the warning and they listen to what's coming and to listen that they want to serve you. They want to repent and serve you. And I ask, Lord, that they, they acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ, and ask them, uh, yes, that they ask Jesus into their lives so they can be saved and they can make it through everything that's going to happen and is going to happen in their lives for your kingdom and your power and your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Okay. I'm going to get started here. Uh, I get downloads from God and I, I can hear God. And so I want to encourage you guys to get to know who God is. Learn how he talks to you. Learn how the Holy Spirit talks to you. Learn how you can hear God too. And just get yourself in the right mindset and put yourself in the word and put yourself in prayer and be those people we are to be. Seeking and just doing what we're supposed to do in Christ. Amen. I'm challenging you guys to do this. I really am. Because we're going to need it because of everything that's going to happen in our lives from now on. And to stay right standing with God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. So remember to give him all the praise. And let's get started with the word. Okay, so this word I heard on March 18, 2024. And I was just going to let you know about it. Um, this was an interesting one. Um, you can tell, by the way, God's been talking lately that something's going to come through. Something with a judgment is coming through. He's going to correct everything. He's going to get rid of the evil. And so um, I'm just letting you guys know that. I've been talking about that for a while now, but this is like a wake-up call. It's a warning, and it's for those who have not repented yet. And this is also about salvation in Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you guys to hold on. Don't give up. Don't fall for the temptations of sin. Keep moving forward in Jesus Christ with your faith in him. Yes, yes, yes. And don't give up, don't give up. All right, so here we go. And uh, did I say yes? It was March 18, 2024 for this one. This is, when I, this is when he told me this one. And so I have a little reminder at the beginning about like a promise. And this is what's coming to us. And this is what God said. He said, your increase is here. Your faith has increased. You are waiting on me. You are hearing me. Amen. And then he said, for what I have started in you, I will finish. He said, the best is yet to come. My thoughts are your thoughts. Your increase will come. You are hearing me. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so here we're going to go to the next part. And this is where he gets very serious. And God wants to let you guys know this. The world is lost. So is all of man and all his ways. 
All things based on man is false. He said, the flesh will lose against me. And when I asked him about that, the flesh, he's talking about the man-made ways and desires of the flesh will lose against me. That's Father God. He said, I, the Father God, want all to serve and follow me. Very soon, everyone will see who I really am with all the confusion and lies exposed for all to see. For all will see the truth of what was supposed to be. He said, the, the devil is a liar. Put him under your feet. He has no power against you and me. And so remember, you can say that. Devil, get under my feet. That's in the word. And you can say the word. Tell the devil, get under my feet. Get under my feet, devil. You don't belong in my life. Get out of here in Jesus' name. Just do it. And he said, the time has come for the wicked has lost. Exposure comes to those who serve their evil ways. They are running scared, knowing they have lost. They flee trying to hide from me. There's a lot of people trying to hide from this. And, and this is, God's going to find them. <laughs> it's just the way he is. He's everywhere, you know. And he said, repent when you can while there is still time. Your outcome is for your salvation. There's not much time left, guys. There's not much time left for all those who are serving evil. For all you guys serving your fleshly ways, you got to let them go. You got to let them go. There's not much time. It's time to repent. He just keeps saying this. I've had to double check myself too. You know, I've had to double check myself. Lord, is there something I need to take care of here? Is there something I need to repent? You know, I don't want to fall for the sin. And sometimes I fell for a little things here and there, you know, it's like, oh my gosh. And sometimes it's like, why did I fall for that? Because the devil's really active right now. He's really pouring it out like crazy because this is his last leg. You know, this is his last thing he's trying to get out there before he's held back so far that he's not going to be at this level ever again. So yes, repent, repent, repent. While there's still time, your outcome is for your salvation. Judgment's coming, you guys. Judgment's coming. There's not much time left. And he said, my kingdom will come. And that's from the pre <laughs> that's from the last one because he said, repent when you repent when you can while there is still time. Your outcome is for your salvation. He said, my kingdom will come. So there is a kingdom coming on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, it's cool. We're setting up God's kingdom. Amen. Before we even get taken out of earth. Amen. He said, believe and follow me. Don't give up. I want everyone to live and follow me. Amen. And then he said, turn around, let go of sin, choose and follow me. Turn away from the flesh and all its desires. Walk away from it. And um, that reminded me of Romans 323. Yeah, and it says there, since all have sinned and continually fall short of a glory of God. That's right. Praise God. So that's in the word. Look that one up. And then he said, the self-indulgence of man will not stand. You will fall serving it instead of me. The idols before you, whatever you made first, it will not save you. He's just being very honest. He's being very um, truthful. Get those idols out of your life and make him first. That's just what he's saying. And he said, repent, choose salvation through my son, Jesus Christ. He is the only way to me. And that reminded me of scripture in John 14, 6. John 14, 6. There it is. And remember, this is the amplified version. This is what I read out of. This is what I get my words from. And it's really good and detailed. It talks about all the uh, the full meaning behind the original Greek and Hebrew. And so this is John 14, 6. And it says, Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And that's Jesus. Amen. <laughs> That's why he says, repent, choose salvation through my son, Jesus Christ. He is the only way to me. Your father wants you to have a greater life, an eternal one by your side. Oh, sorry, by his side. So he said, your father, that's God, wants you to have a greater life, an eternal one by 
my side. Amen. Choose my son, Jesus. He died for you so you can live and have a wonderful life. And that's that's also in Romans. I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of scripture here just backing it up. Excuse me. I want to make sure you guys how, know how serious this is. All right. And that is um, Romans 5.8. I went to the wrong one. All right, here we go. Romans 5.8. But God clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Praise God, right there. Romans 5.8. Choose my son Jesus, he died for you. So you can live and have a wonderful life. And he said, remember, eternity is forever. Choose where you want to go. He said, you can either go to heaven or to hell. And then I'll just say it with his words. <laughs> remember, eternity is forever. Choose where you want to go, heaven or hell. He said, I will give you life so you can live it more abundantly with everything I have for you. And that's also in John 10.10. 10. I questioned doing this, all this scripture, but it was just necessary. I kept being led to do this because there's so much that we need to prove uh, in the word of God that he is real. This is really what he's talking about. We always refer to God's word when you have questions and you pray to him and always continually pray to him to get answers. So it's about, yes, John 10.10. 10. He said the thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. But guess what? He says, I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Praise God. There's that abundance. All right. I'm going to repeat that. I will give you life so you can live it more abundantly with everything I have for you. Amen. Okay. So then he went on. He said, let me look at the time. All right. He said, a wonderful, pure, and glorious life with joy filled you up inside. So I'm going to repeat this again. Got a little distracted. I will give you life so you can live it more abundantly with everything I have for you. A wonderful, pure, and glorious life with joy filling you up inside. And it will. It really will. And then he said, a peace that passes all understanding, completely loved by me, your Father God. And that is a reference to Philippians 4, 7. Look that one up. And he said, so surrender your life. Bring yourself to me. I will change your life. What was made for evil, I will turn it into good. I will bring you new life. Oh, that's, that's great. I love this. And I'm going to repeat this. So surrender your life. Bring yourself to me. That's Father God. I will change your life. What was made for evil, I will turn it into good. I will bring you new life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. You are my chosen ones. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I am waiting on you to follow me. Choose new life to follow me. My son Jesus awaits for you. Your life is precious in his sight. And that reminds me of an old, old children's song I used to sing when I was growing up. All right, so there's another one that says, let's keep going. Repent, draw near, don't lose sight of what is given to you. Salvation is for you. Ask Jesus to be your savior. Believe in him. He will never leave you. That reminds me of Romans 10, 9, and 10. This is really good one. I like this one. Romans 10. Here, one more, one more. Got a lot of scripture here, guys. All right, 9 and 10, Romans 10. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And it says, Because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart... A person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification, that is being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God. 
and with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. Praise God, Lord. Whew. Okay, God's showing up here. Whew. God the Father's showing up here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God the Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Yes, Father. Yes, so. Yes, here we go. I'm going to give me a second. I'm going to repeat this. Repent. Draw near. Don't lose sight of what is given to you. Salvation is for you. Ask Jesus to be your Savior. Believe in him. He will never leave you. He will never leave you. He says, I love you. Stay close. Nothing will harm you while I take out the evil in their ways. Look only to me while the world unravels. I will show you the way. Amen. And then he said, stay under my protection and stay in peace. See what I have to say in my word and in prayer. Believe what I say. My narrative is here to stay. And then he said, wake up. Stay alert. Stop listening to all the deception and the lies. Fill yourself up with my truth and promises. And he said, nothing will take me away from you. Nothing can separate you from me. And I love you. That's what he says. I love you. Your father of truth. Father God. Amen. And there's a scripture here at the end about nothing will take me away from you. Nothing can separate you away from me. And that's in Romans 8. Uh, there's a big section like 31 through 39, but I'm going to look at Romans 8, 37, 38, and 39. Yes. Romans 8. Here it is. All right. Oh, I had it in the first place. Look at that. All right. Romans 8, 37. There it is. And I wrote this down too. This is what it says. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. For I am convinced, excuse me, I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present and threatening nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the unlimited love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, praise you, Lord. That's such a good scripture. Whew. Okay, so there's a call to salvation here, guys. There's a call to salvation, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> yes, I'm waiting on the Holy Spirit a little bit here. Um, yes, Holy Spirit. You know, um, it's time. It's time to wake up. It's time to get real. It's time. It's a wake-up call, just like you said. It's a wake-up call. It's a warning for those who have not repented. There's a judgment coming through, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a judgment coming through. This has been heavy on my heart lately because I know it's coming and there's a judgment coming through and people are going to be taken out and the ones that were truly serving evil they're going to be taken out and they're going to be he's not going to put up with it anymore God's not going to put up with what they what they're doing to his earth and to his people and what they're trying to pull here on earth and so he's going to take them out he's going to wipe them out um it's time to repent. And so all you believers, 
repent too. Just keep repenting. Live that, live that repentance lifestyle with Jesus and keep repenting. And those of you who don't believe, you need to repent because it's going to be hard getting through all this. It's really going to be hard getting through all this. And he's asking you. He's, he's, he's tugging on your heart. He's tugging on your mind and your heart and, and your soul to, to be whole with him, to get over all these things that are going on in your life and that what's going on in the world. Because God's coming through. So here we go. Yes, let's pray. So Lord, Lord God Almighty, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for bringing your son, Jesus. Yes, God the Father, thank you for bringing your son, Jesus, to die for all our sin on the cross. Because it says in the word, you took all the sin in your body and you sacrificed on the cross. So what? We die to sin and live for righteousness. So Lord, I just pray that you get to these people that need repentance again, and also to be saved, to ask you into their lives, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I just, I acknowledge what you, just say, and say it with your words, remember, say it with your words. You say, Lord, God Almighty, thank you for bringing your son Jesus to me, to die for me. Thank you, Jesus. And then say, Jesus, I know I'm a sinner, I know I'm a sinner, and I repent, I repent, forgive me, forgive me, I repent. And then say, I believe you, I believe you, Jesus, you died for me, you died for me to forgive me for my sin, I believe you, I believe in you, and say, thank you for forgiving me from, from all of my sin, thank you for forgiving me of all my sin. I thank you for giving me eternal life, Jesus. I thank you for giving me new life, Jesus. I choose you. I believe in you. I follow you. I will follow you. There you go. And say it with your words. And now you're a child of God. Now you're saved. Now you're you're living a brand new life. Jesus is going to take all that sin out of there and take it out of your soul and just get it, get rid of it. And he washes it away. Welcome, child of God. And welcome those who repent again. Keep repenting. Yes, keep repenting daily. Every time you think you sin, even if you didn't, just check with God. Say, Lord, am I okay here? <laughs> Go, Lord, am I okay? Do I need to repent? Just, just give it up to him. Get to know him. Start talking to him. He's going to start talking to you. He's going to tell you. The, the Holy Spirit is that still small voice. Get to know the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're going to hear the Lord. Amen. So I want to release a blessing to you guys here at the end. I felt led to do this because God's calling me to do this. He's telling me to do this. And so I'm going to do this for you. And this is the scripture that we had before. It's the Romans 8 scripture, and this is the Roman 8 scripture in the Amplified Version. And I'm going to repeat this again, 37 and 38 and 39 from Romans 8. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. For I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor debt, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us, and that's you, from the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So here we go. I release this blessing on you, and here we go. And I will say, oh, yes, and you can speak it over your life and, others, and other people's lives too. Remember, you can do that. The, it is written word. If it says it's written, you can do it. So release the blessing to you that yet all these things, you are more than conquerors. You have victory through him who loved us. He died for us. Jesus died for us. And I release that. For, yes. And there's nothing 
that will be able to separate you from the unlimited of God, the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I'll repeat that. I release this to you, this blessing to you, that yes, in all things, you are conquerors. You have victory through Jesus who loved you. Amen. He actually died for you. And there's nothing, there's nothing able to separate you from the unlimited, unlimited love of God. Nothing will separate you from the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So release this to you. And now I say, I receive it in Jesus' name. And just receive it. There you go. There you go. Just say, I receive the blessing. I receive the blessing. And now go out and release the blessings to everybody because you are able to do that too. Yes. For God's kingdom, his power, and his glory. In Jesus' name. And say, I receive that. I receive that, Lord. I receive that. Thank you for the blessing. And I receive that too, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. All right. All right, guys. This is a great one. I love these. They, yeah, some of them are a little stern, but this is really a good one. Thank you, people, for repenting. God's saying, yes, repent, repent, repent. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for repenting. Thank you for getting it right with God. It's been heavy on my heart to get everybody to, to understand where we are and, and leave that repentance lifestyle we're supposed to be living. You know, get it right with him. Get it right with him. Keep continually praying and petition in prayer and keep speaking to him. You'll get it right. Remember, we got grace, so we're going to get there. God gives us grace to get there. Amen. There was an acknowledgement. Thank you for the acknowledgement, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father. Thank you. So I release another blessing on you. So go forward, live life to abundance, live it to the fullest, enjoy it. See the, seize the moment. Woo, seize the moment of God. So I release the blessings on you that you will embrace life, live it to the fullest, enjoy it, see the moment, and have the abundance of God in your life and go forward and live victoriously in Jesus Christ for your kingdom and your power and your glory in Jesus' name. I release that in Jesus' name. I release that on you in Jesus' name. Yes, there it is. Now say, yeah, I receive that in Jesus' name. I receive that in Jesus' name. Thank you. All right. Until next time, I love you guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.